2020 has just begun, but we might be off to a pretty awesome start as we're just a couple of weeks away from the early access launch of Temtem, a game that might very well become one of the best games of this year. I've heard about this game quite a bit. It's actually been in alpha testing for I think about a year now, and there's a lot of excitement and uh, hype leading up to this upcoming early access launch. So I basically just wanted to kind of dive into and give you guys a basic overview of what Temtem is really all about. So think Pokemon. It's a it's a creature collection game. You're going to go around this world trying to collect and gather other creatures with their different stats and strengths and weaknesses, battle NPCs as well as other real players. And this is also a game that's going to have a huge emphasis on competitive play as they're trying to remove some of the randomness that you typically get in RPGs. Another major point is that this game has a pretty huge emphasis on multiplayer. In fact, they're even going as far as to call this an MMO. I think that's a pretty loose usage of that term, but it's not that big of a deal. The point is that it's a multiplayer focused game. You're going to be able to do a lot of things with your friends, which is a pretty cool idea. So let's go ahead and get a kind of a basic overview of what Temtem is all about, starting with the Temtem themselves. Now, as you begin the game, you're going to pick from their three starters, Crystal, Smazy, and Hoochick. Each of these will have their own unique play styles, like Crystal has high defense and HP, Smazy is all about attack power and speed, and and Hoochick controls the battlefield by debuffing the enemy. So you'll pick the starter Temtem that you think fits your general playstyle the most, but if you happen to not be satisfied with the one that you pick, you can find the starter Temtem out in the wild along with the rest of them. And just as a helpful tip, I have heard that Crystal is one of the better starting Temtem, but you know, pick whatever you feel like. At the start of early access, there will be 76 Temtem to collect, and they're aiming to have over 150 by the time they reach full release. Of course, each of the Temtem will have their own strengths and weaknesses, stats, and combo potential with their unique abilities. You can breed your Temtem, transferring techniques and traits and creating unique combinations. In fact, the bred Temtem will have a better chance at having higher stats. And there's also going to be Luma Temtem, which will be the equivalent of Pokemon Shinies, and they're going to have their unique look, three perfect stats, and then higher overall stats than an average Temtem. And of course, we have our Tamers, you're going to be able to create and customize your own tamer with a bunch of different visual options and cosmetics are also going to play a big role in this game. Now let's talk a little bit about a battle system because this is kind of one of the big focusing uh, differentiating factors between this and let's say Pokemon. So the game is going to focus on these two versus two battles with an emphasis on balanced and competitive play. They're looking to remove the elements of randomness or RNG. Things like critical hits and accuracy and evasion ratings and instead if they're focusing on this skill-based combat that revolves around a stamina system to encourage that strategic play. So you're going to have to manage your Temtem's stamina in every battle. Picking the right moves at the right times, knowing when to attack and when to hold off, there's going to be a synergy system where the Temtem can buff each other and then combo their attacks. There will be status effects like freezes to strategically remove other Temtem from combat. And then the super competitive play in tournaments are also going to feature a pick and ban system. Yes, this is a creature your collection game and yeah it's got a lot of similarities to Pokemon but removing the elements of randomness and focusing on the strategic gameplay that revolves around the combo system and managing your stamina bar and using crowd control effects and things like that that is where they're really trying trying to focus how this game is different from other creature collection games and you know what I really like this idea of removing the randomness you're not going to be relying on critical strikes or critical healing or hope that you dodge an incoming attack, it's really just going to be a game about game knowledge. Like once you learn about all of the different Temtem, their strengths and weaknesses, that's going to help you formulate the best strategy going into battle. And then that coupled by comboing your Temtem to try to synergize really well, using proper control effects and managing your stamina to make sure that you don't burn it too early. It really is going to be a game where the player with the best knowledge of all of the Temtem, their different combos and capabilities, those are the players who are going to do the best. Now, I think there's a plus and a minus to that. The, the truth is that some randomness really helps add to the excitement, like getting a lucky crit and taking out an enemy that maybe you shouldn't be able to. That can be fun and exciting, but when it comes to the competitive side of things, that's not as obviously good of a scenario because there is that random element. So it'll be interesting to see how the player base enjoys or doesn't this more competitive 
focus on combat compared to Pokemon. Now the creature fighting is a big part of this, but that's not all there is. On top of this, there will be a campaign in the game. You'll be adventuring through this airborne archipelago that will feature six islands with their own unique landscapes, characters, quests, and of course, Temtem to collect. Major arch nemesis is this clan, Bel Soto, and you have to go through and attempt to defeat their eight dojo leaders and become the ultimate Temtem tamer. I can't get over it, there are just too many T's. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time talking here, it's a problem. As we mentioned, this is an MMO, so let's talk about that. The game is built with multiplayer in mind, exploring, battling, trading, and chatting with other players in the world. And that story-driven campaign that we talked about, that can also be played through together with your friends. There's also gonna be a robust emote system to make communication easy, and there's chat on the PC. This will be coming to console as well, but I think that's happening after the early access phase that's happening on PC. They also talk about a housing system in this game. You can buy your very own home and customize the inside with furniture, paint, and fun decorative items. I really like what I've seen so far. I've watched a bunch of gameplay footage. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get into the alpha, but there's going to be some chances to play very soon. Again, it's going to be entering early access on January 21st, but prior to that, there will be a few stress test periods on January 11th, 17th, and 19th. So if you're interested in trying Temtem before early access later this month, be sure to sign up for the stress test. I know I'm going to because I'm really, really intrigued by this game. The devs have also said that they're devoted to the kind of the long-term growth of this title, planning major updates, weekly challenges, adding new Temtem and new ways to play. Some of the upcoming features include an auction house, mini games, mounts, a replay system, clubs, and weekly tournaments. And it's kind of cool because this game is going to have the creature collection. It's got the cartoony fun art style as well. But but really they're trying to drive home the fact that this is going to be a competitive strategic game that removes randomness in favor of just making good plays again with that stamina system with picking temtem the combo well with one another and learning how to utilize your stamina in battle and use it at the right moments uh it sounds good like it has me intrigued this game is definitely piquing my interest and i'm pretty excited that we're so close to launch now i didn't put this on some of my videos recently like my top 20 of 2020 or my top five upcoming MMOs. And people might be curious why. It's an early access launch for one. And I don't really consider it. I know they're calling this an MMO, but it's not an MMO in the sense that we really think about it. This probably seems a little unnecessary and maybe even petty to a lot of you. But as a lifelong fan of the MMO genre, I'm kind of getting tired of every single multiplayer game with some sort of an open lobby where you can run into other people getting the MMO label slapped on top of it. I mean, let us not forget that MMO stands for massively multiplayer online game and a lot of games that get labeled MMOs are distinctly missing the massive component to them. That's another conversation that I'll save for a later video though. Really it seems like it's just a shared space multiplayer Pokemon game which is cool it's fine I'm I'm very interested like I am planning on playing this game I'm planning on talking more and covering this game on the channel and this is going to be something to hopefully keep me interested for the coming months. I suppose the real big question with Tem is going to be whether or not people want an alternate version of Pokemon. The real question is, is Pokemon a game that people play because they love the systems, mechanics, and combat? Or is a lot of it driven by nostalgia and just being a fan of the genre growing up? Is this sort of old school turn-based combat interesting enough to really see a new entry in the genre? Is it going to really catch people's attention? I think that if anything has a chance, Temtem is certainly up there. The game is just absolutely gorgeous looking looking, super polished, it's got a ton of character, and yeah, I think there certainly is room in the market for another creature collection-like game. With removing some of the randomness and making this kind of a more competitive-focused game, I think Temtem does stand a pretty good chance to carve out its own corner of the market, so we'll have to see if the audience is really there, and we'll be finding out pretty soon, as this game's almost available. I've heard really amazing things, I've really liked what I've seen, uh, Temtem is, I think for a lot of people, gonna be a plus and surprise. I think they have a real 
good opportunity on their hand, especially with all the recent kind of negative discussion around like modern day Pokemon and how the game hasn't changed and evolved much. It seems like they're trying to make steps in that direction, delivering a better creature collecting, combating experience. And it freaking looks good, dude. For an early access game, this looks pretty amazing. So uh, stay tuned, more Temtem discussion coming soon, I'm sure. I didn't think I'd be playing baby games at 34 years old, but here I am. I guess all games are baby games. <laughs> Look, here's the real reason Temtem's gonna kick ass. The, the, the creature design is adorable. Look at these guys, look at these guys. It's just like a, a funky looking little deer. There's like a very awkward and uncomfortable ostrich creature. We get the adorable little rhino pony thing. I don't know what that guy is. There's a big smiley shark, the bumblebee guy, the flying pig. We got a little, okay, there's, there's, look at these fly guys. What is this guy? Look at this guy. <laughs> these, these designs are great, dude.